Nevada. Okay, we're live. So, yeah, we're recording. Can you introduce yourself and tell us uh, how we met? <laughs> yes, hi, my name is Checo Salgado. I'm a curator for an exhibit called the Basin and Range, uh, pretty much the Basin and Range exhibit at the University of Nevada, Las Vegas, Donna Beam. And the way we met is that we were on a group trip out to Basin and Range area, which is now a national monument, through the Conservation Lands Foundation. Um, we were introduced to uh, a few areas, one being the White River Narrows, which has holds, actually hosts a lot of uh, petroglyphs there, as well as Mount Irish uh, archaeological site. And uh, we got to experience a whole day out in this beautiful area of, of central Nevada, should I say now, about two and a half hours here from Vegas. And it was a, a great bonding amongst people of like-minded issues that we, we, were, we came from the arts, we came from the conservation, conservation side, sciences side, all coming together uh, unified to save a beautiful part of our, of our state. Beautiful. And that was back in April, and since then, has anything happened in Basin and Range? Well, Basin and Range has been signed, of course, by a bill by uh, President Obama. Uh, that was back in July that certified the area. It's pretty much don't come in here with any new industry, new ranching, anything else. What's here is here. Uh, we won't have any nuclear waste coming through. We'll be able to protect a national monument, which is not only the land itself, but also Michael Heiser's city. Um, and I, I had a real, very successful uh, group art show at the university, um, which has been recognized now by the state itself, uh, with possibilities of touring for two years, just been picked up. And um, Wait, touring? What do you mean? Um, so the show after it finishes at the university, it'll be picked up, and it'll go to other uh, towns within the within Nevada, possibly out of state as well. Okay. Once we get it going, so we'll still be representing Basin and Range, but we won't have to be there. Um, and, your, and your art exhibit? That's the art exhibit itself. That's the one that we'll be touring. And is it still? It's still it's still up. It's up until uh, September fifth. Where? At Donna Beam Gallery. It's at the University at UNLV on Maryland Parkway. Beautiful. And uh, one more thing is uh, last week we were invited. Uh, we were sent out by the Conservation Lands Foundation to visit our representatives for those who opposed, but also. Uh, those who are with the bill um, and we got to meet everybody and show them that we are from the state that we appreciate any commerce gaming and not gaming but pretty much to preserve all our beautiful uh, outdoors areas I mean not only for us but for our futures right so that's that that was a big thing to, to meet these people let them know who we are that we're not just lobbyists we're actually people that have you know a, a passion for our state and this was a, a, a this an intense thing. It's been going forth. It's a big deal for Nevada and for the whole country, and if not for the whole universe, because it's getting brought an international scope now, especially with this uh, sculpture. Well, they're talking about it becoming world famous. Yeah, it definitely, because uh, of the sculpture itself has been in process for over 35 years. So once it finally is open to the public, it's going to bring a lot of commerce from around the world. It will be open to the public? Well, that's what we're pushing for within the next, uh, we're saying, five years. But um, we'll wait and see. That's all we can do is wait. But in the meantime, there's a lot, about 704,000 acres of land that you can still go visit. So there's a lot to, to see that as well. Perfect. Can you tell us, uh, what are we seeing here? Well, this is actually Goldbeach. And this is another area that we're trying to uh, preserve now. It's uh, Goldbeach, which is about um, maybe about two hours from not even that, maybe an hour and a half. And the area has been in the news because of Clive and Bundy and his uh, cattle that's been out there on this land, which has actually been destroying the land, hasn't been a benefit. And there's a lot of beautiful resources out there as well. Um, there's mention of Pueblo Indians coming into the area. It was another center of commerce, just like uh, Mount Irish, which is on the uh, Basin and Range area. Um, so this is another area, and since it's full force now with, uh, with Basin and Range, we're continuing that energy and now devoting it to these people here and trying to get that to be a center of focus and also get this created as a next national monument. Perfect. Hey, thank you much. Thank you so much. You can